violent scenes will continue into the night. Sarah Garvin, BBC News. Now, the World Health Organization has asked China for more information over reports of hospitals being overwhelmed with children suffering from flu-like illnesses. The request was made after an alert was issued through ProMed, which is a global surveillance database which monitors disease outbreaks, warning of an epidemic of undiagnosed pneumonia in young people. Well, let's bring in Dr. Amish Adalja, who is an associate editor of the journal Health Security. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsday today. Uh, firstly, how concerned should we be about the news of another respiratory illness coming from China? Anytime there's a cluster of unexplained respiratory illness, that should be something that's concerning. Concerning until we figure out what's behind it. However, the early indications are that this isn't something that's novel or something new, but many of the usual types of respiratory pathogens all circulating, all attacking a lot of people at once. But it's important anytime we see this type of cluster, that we really run it down, that we figure out what's behind it to make sure it isn't something new. Now, it's not unusual, I guess, for the WHO to request further information from countries about outbreaks of disease, but it is rather unusual, isn't it, for them to announce that they have done so. Are they trying to get ahead of this, given the criticism of China being slow to report the COVID-19 virus? It's probably the fact that both the WHO has had a loss of confidence in it, as well as the fact that this cluster is occurring in China. So what, you, what we're seeing is a WHO being aggressive, being very transparent about what information needs there are to characterize this outbreak. And the fact that it's happening in China, a place which is notorious for lack of transparency, lack of transparency we saw during COVID or during the first SARS outbreak in 2003, that, that's all playing into this. And, and I think it's very important that it's considered a norm, that if you have an outbreak in your country, that you are very transparent, very quickly to put the world at ease, to make sure that everybody is comfortable with what's going on there and your ability to handle it. Because an infectious disease outbreak is different than any other kind of event occurring in a country because it could spread outside that country. So we want countries to be transparent. And I think it's good that the WHO is being forth, uh, forthright and forceful with China because what we don't want is a lack of transparency, which could lead to conspiracy theories, uh, as well as just a more loss of confidence and distrust amongst countries, which is essential for health security. Indeed. Can you tell us a bit more about this ProMed system that first flagged these illnesses? So ProMed is not something that's very high tech. It's basically an email listserv where doctors and other individuals that are involved in infectious disease email each other, report about disease outbreaks that might be occurring in their country, in their hometown, and people discuss it. And it's, not, as I said, not something that's very fancy or sophisticated, but it is what gave us warning of the first SARS outbreak in 2003 or the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome outbreak in 2012. So it does work even though it's low tech. And this is a, a cr critical forum for infectious disease experts to exchange information because sometimes, as we've seen, official channels lag. They are not as transparent, they are not as open as individual clinicians, epidemiologists speaking with each other about what they're seeing. Dr. Amish Adalja, thank you so much for joining us on the program today. Thanks for having me. Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News.